Hi everyone. For those who are watching my channel, I'm the person behind those hands that you constantly see on my videos. Today I decided to change a bit of my usual habit and cut in a bunch of process video segments, put on the, back on the background the most lousy music which I could find and put it all on YouTube. Today, for the sake of diversity, you will observe me and listen to my rusty English. In today's menu is a short video about my new shop build 2x72 belt grinder. I designated it fairly compact and at the same time it's a quite powerful machine, suitable almost for any task. Um, whether it's making knives or other processing. For this I took a compact three-phase 1.5 uh, horsepower motor and designate the chassis of the machine around it. Do, do the, the application, this is a uh, variable frequency controller and the speed is adjustable from a couple of revolutions per minute up to 3450 revolutions per minute. This expressing speed of the belt from 1 meter per second to the 21 meter per second if I remember it ok this range of the speed is sufficient for processing of any material from wood to the hard steel the chassis of the machine are made from uh, 12 millimeter steel it was laser cut and welded from the single single construction in the place when, where I work my day job. The tensioner arm and the roller plate, also made from the same plate. Uh, machine arms are made from uh, transmission steel uh, 30 by 30 millimeters. Uh, the rollers I machine it here in my small workshop. Uh, they are made from uh, 6061 aluminium with sealed bearings. Uh, the drive wheel and the tracking wheel are crowned, of course, for uh, belt tracking. What, what else? Uh, The tension and arm installed uh, between two, two thrust needle bearings. It eliminates any backslash in the system and which typically results in instability of the belt. Nobody wants uh, to get a grinding belt in, the, in their face. Uh, the table is independent. It has independent slot, I think. The table has independent slot into which it is inserted, so it does not matter whether I chose a wheel or a flat plate to work on. I don't need to uh, rearrange my table from one arm to another, in a it's a matter of a couple of seconds. By the way, about the grinder arms, in both I made a small groove in depth of one millimeter in the white it's slightly more bigger than the diameter of the clamping bolt. This is done to prevent the jamming of the arm in the slot. Let's conduct one in interesting test about the stability of the machine. Let's put here a coin.
3200 rpm this something around there okay basically i didn't want to invent anything but in this machine i tried to arrange everything as i prefer in the end i get i got a massive and powerful machine for my future videos thanks you thank you all for watching if you liked the video please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends until next time